All right, this is a short tutorial on how to sharpen your graphite pencil. Even charcoal pencils can be sharpened in the same way to go from a short point to a long point, which is much better for drawing. So in order to sharpen your pencil to a long point, you will need a small knife. I have a utility knife here, any kind of X-Acto knife or small sharp knife that you have should be fine and some sandpaper. I recommend anywhere between a fine to medium grit sandpaper. These little ones you can purchase at the art store if you want. It comes in a pack here, so once they wear out, you tear one off and there's more underneath there. But you wanna start out with using the knife. So what we're gonna do here is hopefully you can see uh, the knife is going to trim away the excess wood from the pencil. So you want to attempt not to dig into the lead, but just trim away the wood of the graphite pencil. And what you want to do is hold the knife in your dominant hand and the pencil in your non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so that's why I'm holding the knife in my right hand. And what you're going to do is you're going to see how I'm using this thumb to sort of uh, control the knife and trim away very slowly the wood. So now you can see I'm starting to see lead, so I'm gonna turn and trim a little bit more. So every artist is different in terms of how much lead they want to expose. The more you expose, the more fragile your pencil will be in terms of being vulnerable to breakage however when you export when you expose more lead you have more ability with the different uh you know thicknesses of lines so the line quality variation you kind of have more options and for filling in large areas you can use the side of your pencil to apply graphite very evenly to large areas of your drawing so this is why it's helpful to expose that lead it's uh, doing it this way is much better than using one of those little handheld uh, sharpeners that you get from the art store because those will only give you a short point to your pencil so now as you can see there's a lot of lead exposed there but uh, as you can see, it's kind of jagged looking. It's not necessarily smooth all the way around. And the point is sort of dull and blunt. Uh, I want a nice sharp point and I want it to be smooth all the way around. So that's where the sandpaper comes in. By the way, uh, I'm using some paper towel here underneath my um, setup here, but you can always just do this over a trash can. So now I'm switching the pencil to my dominant hand and I'm going to put the side of it on the sandpaper. Uh, as you can see, it's this is sort of dirty from the last time I did this, but the sandpaper is still good, so um, I'll leave that. But basically what you wanna do is as you go back and forth, you twist the pencil in your hand so that you get a very uh, smooth all the way around um, effect on your lead and it also helps to sharpen the point so you just go back and forth for a little bit and then you check it if it's still not sharp enough you go back just don't forget to twist the pencil as you go so that you don't get any flat areas this way when you draw your pencil strokes will be nice and smooth and even so as you can see this is very messy that's why i'm doing it over some paper towel all right, it's definitely getting sharper. I'm gonna go a little bit longer here. Get the excess off there. I believe that's pretty good. I could maybe get it even a little bit more even on the sides. Just gonna go a little bit longer here and I'm going to wipe the excess off on the paper towel so you can really see how nice, sharp, long that point is. So there you have it. Don't forget to retract the blade before you put it away just for safety. Now you're ready to draw.